all right hello everyone and welcome back to the channel as you can see today we are on killer frequency but i guess you knew that that's why you clicked on the video okay so to get you caught up our first caller was leslie Uh, she was at the police station and we were actually able to save her from the whistler. Then there was Sandra. <laughs> the jazzercise uh, woman. Uh, we were actually able to save her. Then the editor at the newspaper. Um, with the map of the building, we were actually able to save him. So our fourth, uh, the person, the fourth person we save was Virginia. And, and uh, remember, we sent Ponty to have a delivery to the frat house to send the frat guys to Virginia's house so the Whistler would not get her. So that's four lives we've saved so far. And we are not only on killer frequency, we are on a killer win streak. So let's jump in and see what the game is gonna bring us today. Alright, looks like continuing where we left off, take we have a call. call. Alright. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello? Am I on air? Sure are, caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And... I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. <laughs> I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting. That sounds familiar. For her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. I think That's it's what that. I'm calling it. I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming, or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all <laughs> night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Oh. Uh, go home to your parents. Do you really need to ask? Stay and wait. Um, let's have him wait. Ah, what the hell? Stay and wait. Forrest, that's a terrible idea. Eugene, please go home. Your parents must be worried sick. My parents are dead, actually. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. Hang on. I hear some rustling. I guess she came after all. Molly! I'm in the middle! Oh, she should. It'll up. take a little while to get here, but uh, thanks again, Forrest. It's been good talking. Uh oh. Wait a Molly can't whistle. It's the whistler. Oh no, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst! Uh, we'll get you out of this. Uh, do you know the way out? Just run through the walls. Yeah, can you do that? Can't you just run through the walls? It's only corn. It wouldn't be the maze maze if you could just walk through walls, Forrest. She's right! <laughs> I... Listen, Eugene, breathe, hide. I think it's this thing right man. here. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Molly, uh-oh. Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, Here's a track for all you lovers. Oh, out we gotta there. play a song. Oh, 
Oh, we missed it. How am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. Barbara, the receptionist. Oh. Uh, why she change your mind? Is it maze maze for kids? Maybe we should, yeah, we should call. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. Ah. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? I thought it was maybe Barbara, that. Barbara, you know. It Barbara. has to be. Uh. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. <laughs> Help me out, Peggy. Oh, we can't. She's a receptionist. Wait. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of... No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Oh, now we can leave out. Yeah. Make sure the Whistler isn't here. It is so spooky down these stairs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because the music stops. And you can hear that clock ticking. And then this creepy music takes over. All right, Barbara. Oh, is it this that we found in the trash? Bingo, here's what I was looking for. Ah. Uh-oh, we're going to have to we're going to have to guide him out of that maze. Tractor statue, golden hay bales, pig statue, realistic looking. Yep, we're gonna have to guide him. Okay. I know one time we're gonna come down here and the whistlers, I know he's gonna be here. That's why it's, it, it pays to like look at some of this stuff because it, it, it shows up later in the game. Like the magazine, the car theft magazine that taught us how to uh, hotwire the car. I just wish you can run in this game. Oh my gosh, this maze. Alright, let's keep our win streak alive. Remember, I like to keep this door closed. I don't want the whistler sneaking up on us. All right, let's take a look at it and study it before we let Peggy know. Because that's the button to contact Peggy. So let's see. How do we examine it? So, oh, that's cool. Oh, we could put it under the light. All right. So there is a, where did he say he was? I don't recall. So we have to find out where he was, and then I guess lead him out, but where is out? Okay, at the top of the map is out. There's an up and down arrow. Tractor statue, golden hay bale, pig statue, realistic looking horse statue, pig force statue, scarecrow, farmer hat, mini barn, corn silo, and beehives. All right, so we have to know where those things are. And there are numbers on the map. They're not words. So we have to look at the corresponding number. Like number two is the golden hay bells. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's save. Uh, what was Eugene? Was his name? Here we go. Any luck? Yeah. I found a map for the maze maze in the trash. Uh oh. Why was it in the trash? But never mind. It doesn't matter right now. Because Barbara got stood up. Barbara later. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Uh oh. All right, here we go. Fingers crossed. Okay, Forrest, shut the music oh, off. Sorry. Welcome back to 189.16 The, the scream. scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze, Eugene. Uh-oh. You're back on air. Here we go. I'm lost, Forrest. Oh, the whistler. I just ran, and I, I don't know where I am. 
Uh oh, here it comes. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. A tractor, tractor, one. He's at one, okay. Gold on my right. Oh! Oh, this is not time. I'm sorry. Usually the responses are timed. Okay, he's at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Gold hay bales on his right. Okay. Tractor statue is one. You can see one with hay bales. Okay. On his right. Did he say his right? With hay bales to his right. So he's facing. Alright, he's facing west then. He's facing west towards that pine tree in the middle. So where do we need him to go? Oh, what's our choices? Jeez. Go forward, go right, go left, go backwards. So we want to get him out. Jeez, out is at the top of the map. Okay. If he's there, we want him to go up or right. Okay. He needs to go right. He's at a crossroad facing a tractor statue with hay bales on his right. He's facing the tractor. Oh no, the hay bales are on his right. So he's facing east. He's facing off the board. He needs to go left. He needs to go left. Right? He needs to go left. Go left. Go left, young man. Go left. Oh. Okay. Okay. What do you see? Uh, I went left. Then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. Pig statue. A pig statue in front and a rocking horse on his left. Okay. A pig statue is number three. Oh, he's, he's, okay, he's closer up top. Pig statue is number three with what? And a rocking horse on his left. Where's the rocking horse? Number four. Okay. The pig statue he's in front of with a rocking horse on his left. Number four is on his left. If he goes... No! If he goes up... That's a dead end. If he goes... Left... No! Wait a minute! He has to go backwards. Forward. If he goes forward, dead end. If he goes right, dead end. He has to go backwards. He has to go backwards. Uh, thank goodness this isn't timed. Go backwards. Go backwards. <laughs> okay, if he goes backwards. Where is he? Statue up ahead. Pitchfork? Which way? What? what else, dude? Give us something else. He's at a crossroads with a pitchfork statue. A pitchfork. Pitchfork. Number. Oh, he's Klausy up top. Uh. The pitchfork. Uh, pitchfork statue. He's at the crossroads. A pitchfork statue. If he goes right, he can't go right. He, if he goes, oh, he goes left and no, left. Right. What's our choices? If he goes forward, nothing. If he goes, it's right. Because if he goes left. It's right. It's right. Right? Okay. He's at a crossroads. The pitchfork stat pick fork fork statue is ahead. And the pig fork is fine. Okay. 
he goes left then, if he goes, all right, if he goes forward, he can't go forward, if he goes right, no, he goes left, left, okay, go left, come on, buddy. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, there's a tiny barn. A tiny barn. Me. A and barn. A scarecrow behind me. A barn. Nothing to my sides. <gasps> Is it time? No, it's not time. Okay. A tiny barn ahead and a scarecrow behind. The barn is number eight. How did he get so far down? A tiny barn and a scarecrow. Where's the scarecrow? It's number six. Okay, the barn is ahead of him and the scarecrow is behind. So he's right here. So now, let's see. He has to go right. Let's see if, let's, okay, what's his choice? Let's go forward. If he goes forward, nothing. If he goes right, that's going up, 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 up. If he goes left, He goes, he goes right. He goes right. Please be right. Please be right. Let's not go get right. Eugene killed. Why'd he go so far down? I can't run. Uh-oh. Much more. Uh-oh. I just passed Look at Peggy. a corn silo. A corn silo. Didn't see anything. Corn number nine. Number nine. Oh, oh gosh. Corn Please. silo. Corn silo number nine. Number nine. Oh, he's up top. Oh, is it? Please don't be timed. Okay, he just passed the corn silo and didn't see anything else on the way. Which way are you facing? Uh, he passed the corn silo number nine. I can't see what's behind the number nine. He passed the corn silo. He came from six and seven. We set him right. He passed the corn silo. Number nine. That's what are the choices? If he goes forward, that's gonna bring him back down. If he goes right. Oh, okay, okay, let's just look at left. If he go he goes right. He goes right. Go right. Please, please, Eugene. Uh oh, I hit a chainsaw. Oh, he's out! The words say he's out. Yep, there's the high ends. That was so tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. Jeez, but why did he keep well, running? I, huh, I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think she's okay? The Whistler got her. Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Oh, that's cold. She stood him up. And thank you for calling in, Mr. Walton. We'll make oh sure to goodness. add the town librarian put this to our down. list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. <laughs> Next caller is up for us, so take it away. So, one, two, three, four. Did we need 
that we need. Oh, there's a caller. There's a caller. Okay, let's let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. That's five people. That's who was it first? Leslie, Sandra, Morris, the editor. The lines let up. Virginia. I need to take the call. And now Eugene. So, okay. I don't want to take another one because I don't want to make this video long. But I don't want that call to go away. So we use the map. Caller waiting for us. I hear you, Peggy. <laughs> we use the map for Eugene. We used. Let me put that down. How can I put it down? You know what? Let me take that call because what if somebody's uh hit the button we have a caller what if someone's being chased caller you're through to forrest nash on 189.16 the scream hey wonderful show tonight forrest okay thank you thank you that's really wonderful of you to say what's your name caller uh, you can call me don Play my tune, Forrest. Your tune, sure. Long ride home. That old song. Long ride sure. home. Sure, we got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. Blaster. All right, folks. Coming up is that old clap. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but uh, we don't have it anymore. What are oh, you wow. talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. Why? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. Uh, what do we do then? Sorry about Brad for shame, uh, Peggy for shame. What do we do? All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. Okay. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. What didn't we okay, play? Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. We play. Maybe that. try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Let's play something from the back. Why does it keep wanting us to play this? Oh, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. Okay, as I was saying, we just used this map to save Eugene. I'm just gonna set it right here. Of all the songs to request, Why'd it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song for one. <laughs> it gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Okay, we use the car theft book to uh, save... Uh, who was it? Sandra, the uh, exercise lady. We use this map to save the editor. Uh, and we use the piece of delivery to save uh, Virginia when we sent the delivery to the frat house to have the frat guys go save. Call uh, waiting. Better take it. They might need our help. I'm sure they do. So we're not going to get into another call today because I don't want to make this video too long. So what we'll do is end the episode here. So Leslie, Sandra, Morris the editor, Virginia, and now Eugene. That is five people. Um, that's five lives we saved. So I see these are counting up. We did receive two keys, uh, both from Peggy. 
we found a record downstairs and we still haven't found a way how we make those paper baskets made from the desk so apparently you do shoot them from the desk I've been going over to the basket and putting them in so this is what I'm talking about you can pick these up but how do you shoot them Yeah, I don't know how you make it. Caller on line one. All right, let's get out of here. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. And I will certainly see you next time on Killer Frequency 189 The Scream.